Yo guys, what's going on? Randy Mooper here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So guys, before we get onto this video, make sure you smash that like button. Let's try and hit 10 likes in this video, guys, to show your support. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be going over 7 things to make your house pretty much mob-proof in Minecraft. Mob-proof and somehow a little bit of our player's proof. This video, guys, is probably one of the easiest ways to mob-proof your house with 7 tips that will help you out, basically, to go from a noob in Minecraft to a pro within 7 easy steps. So with all that said, guys, let's get Get on to this! So number one guys is a lava lake. Now who doesn't or what doesn't should I say die in lava? Come on guys, you fall in lava, you're dead. A mob goes in lava guys, they're instantly dead. There is no hiding in lava, okay? Once you're in it, you're gone. And guys, make sure a fire spread is off because if this goes onto your house, if it's made out of wood guys, then your house is gonna burn and that's not good news. So make sure your, you know, your fire spread is off. You can turn this off in survival. If you're in survival doing this guys, make sure you take it really slow and easy. You will wanna make sure you have loads of buckets of lava because this will take Take loads of buckets and for heaven's sake guys make sure you have no valuables on you otherwise they are going to destroy it if you die make sure you do like two blocks down by by the bridge of trapdoors make sure you use trapdoors for your bridge guys because if someone tries to come over as quickly hit that trapdoor and they're dead number two guys water lake now you're probably wondering why would you want to put water a water lake on well guys if a creeper decides it wants to come all the way through and gets to the water lake and you're right next to it well guys if the creepers inside the water it's and it explodes it's not going to destroy anything it's not going to like blow up half your lava so that the lava has exploded all over your house or you know all over your path so that it kills you it's going to do nothing because it's in the water no I know it's a pretty stupid thing and you don't have to put it in if you don't want to but I advise it because of the creepers because creepers are pretty much the deadliest ones you can get now guys make sure you do the water like two blocks down otherwise they're gonna be able to jump about two blocks down guys they will not be able to jump out at all build a wall around the lava and the water as well so it gives them can't get out of it without jumping onto the bridge which the bridge will be down at the time because you're going to be in your house otherwise they won't be chasing you Number three, guys, is a carpet path. Now, if you're new to Minecraft, you might not know this, but if a mob goes onto a carpet, then it will get hurt. If they are not even on the carpet yet, guys, they will not go on, they will not walk, they will not spawn onto the carpet. Number four, guys, is make a bait. So basically, put, just put two fences, guys, like two little cages with villagers in. Put about two, three villagers in each one. The reason being, guys, a zombie walks down there chasing after you. You have villagers there. They will instantly stop and get distracted by the bait, which are the villagers. It is a really good way, guys, to just distract them. Maybe you have, like, a load of zombies chasing you. They will stop. And it's if they get past them, they get past them, guys. Number five, guys, is trapdoors. Now, trapdoors are the best thing to keep spiders out, guys. Literally, just build a massive wall around the whole house, right, around your whole house thing if you want to. Have a lock at the front so you can only get through with a lock so any other, other mobs can't get through. But then, put trapdoors all around it because trapdoors will stop any sort of spiders. Cave spiders or normal spiders, they will instantly stop them. For some reason, they can't jump over the trapdoor or get over it. So, it's a really helpful way just to keep them spiders out. To that. Now put these around every single bit that you can find that a spider get over. Number six, guys, is lighting. This is probably the most obvious one, guys. Mobs do not spawn in lighting. If you didn't know that, guys, go do a little bit of research on Minecraft before you start playing it. Because lighting kills mobs. Sun kills mobs, guys. Lighting do not let mobs spawn inside that area. Just build a whole path full of lighting first, and then build kind of like a wall of lighting around your house so that there's tons of light going in. You could always just black up your your house if you want to just keep it black inside but I wouldn't do that because you need lighting in your house to stop mob spawning inside as well. Last but not least guys number seven is locks. Now at the front of your house guys literally before you walk into your door make sure you put a lock there. Now this is a bit of a hard one to explain on how to build this guys. You pretty much use redstone and redstone torches levers and a lock door to build up this lock and use two levers just to get in and then mix them all up so you've got someone got to guess the password. It's basically a password protect door. Now guys this is really hard 
hard to explain and how to build it so pretty much watch the video that you see on the here or I'll link one in the in the description below on how to do it so that you know how to do it guys because explaining it is a lot harder than actually doing it it's really easy to do guys it takes about five seconds to do if you know what you're doing just watch a video and you'll be there with no problem guys this isn't also a good way to lock yourself inside your house away from mobs during the night or to lock yourself inside your house altogether it's also a good way to stop people going into your house Okay guys, so the last thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna test all these little creations. I have added a few things in here and there, but let's try this guys. I'm doing the commentary over, so I'm not gonna actually be explaining what I'm doing in live, but I'm gonna pretty much tell you what's going, what's happening. I've just got, I put myself in survival guys, turned in night time so mobs can actually spawn and will say survived if I spawn them in. I've got some eggs and I've spawned them in. Now as you can see guys, the zombie is being dis distracted by the bait that I've done. The spider will not go over the carpet guys. I put in with the lights and the creeper is stuck inside the water the witch is dying on top of the carpet and the skeleton is stuck inside the water as well I did die in one part of this I think you might have watched that by now but the reason why I died is because I decided to jump in the lava trying to escape from the um, skeleton because I spawned the skeleton basically right on top of me right there um, so yeah this is pretty much the test of this whole thing as you can see all the things work um, I put spiders outside as well and they cannot get over the trap door so this is basically the easiest way and the most simplest way to how how the mob spawn how how to mob protect your house and also protect your house from other people if you don't want them getting inside because you could always just take away like leave the um you could always just take away the little bridge there and leave them suffering not being able to get over they could also always build something over but you know it's it's just a fun little way you and your friends just mucking about with some mobs or something i don't know just mob races it's just an easy fun way on how to do it guys. So I hope you like this video guys. These are seven easy simple tricks and tips on how to mob proof your house. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what other videos you want me to do Minecraft related guys. Don't forget I'm Minecraft related. Also leave a like on this video guys. Try and get me to 10 likes. And leave a subscribe guys. Try and get to me to 300 subscribers. Comment down below that you have subscribed and I will subscribe back for the first 10 people who do subscribe to guys i love you all this is randy mupu i'm out bye